to working with the virtues. The working with the virtues is an esoteric practice to help deepen and cultivate our understanding of love. Now all the virtues have a quality connected to love and as human beings it's part of our mission on earth to develop and cultivate love. Each one of us has that task even though there are many other reasons that we're here in life. We all participate collectively in this growing development cultivation of love and bringing that love into the world around us. Now often love is known much more in a superficial way or perhaps a sentimental way. The virtues really help us to enter in deeply, to understand love, to understand the parts of love that we are yet to awaken in our own being. And through these virtues, through the next 12 months, we will be meeting the different qualities. Each month the virtue will be presented, how to work with it as an esoteric practice, how to deepen your relationship to the virtue, and actually how to then allow that to work in and through you into the world. Now the virtues were originally given by Blavatsky, an esoteric teacher, that were then developed further by Rudolf Steiner, a great initiate. And it is wonderful for us to take hold of these virtues in this way, although we would say that through all esoteric schools, in both the East and Western traditions, virtues have stood as the heart of our development. They are really a part of our spiritual quest to find a relationship to the divine to develop virtue and to awaken and unfold this immortal being so that our eternal being may continue and grow into the future. So these three processes in a way echo through most traditions but we are going to describe them and unfold them through this a journey through the virtues. Now you can choose virtues based on either the sidereal or the tropical understanding connected to your own birth date. So whenever you were born, the zodiac imprints itself in that nine months of gestation. But there are some months missing, of course. We come out before we are fully through the circle uh, completion. So for instance, if I'm looking at my chart from a tropical point of view, born at the beginning of January, then I would work with the virtues more consciously that connect to Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces, the three that were not taken up in the given nature of gestation, but I'm here to work through consciously. Now that's an interesting way of considering working with the virtues. However, they're going to be presented here each month, so you can come back, listen to the next virtue and build upon this journey that many people are taking together. You can join in at any time. You can skip virtues that you don't want to work with or you can actually just keep trying to move closer to this deeper understanding because although we start with where we are, we want to each month just lead ourselves a little further forward in our capacity around the virtues. So those that are just listening to the audio, I'll speak out the virtues that are up here in this zodiac ring. Aries, devotion, the first virtue given by Blavatsky, devotion. The second virtue, the power of sacrifice is the extension, what devotion will become as we work with it. It's almost as though you could recognize there is a direction of the virtue so that it helps us as we cultivate devotion to know where it's heading. So, 
Devotion, Aries, devotion, the power of sacrifice. Taurus, equilibrium, to progress. Gemini, perseverance, to faithfulness. Cancer, selflessness, to catharsis. Leo, compassion, to freedom. Virgo, courtesy, to steadiness of feeling. Libra, contentment, to self-composure. Scorpio, patience, to understanding. Sagittarius, control of speech, control of thought, to truth. Capricorn, courage, to the power of redemption. Aquarius, discretion, to the power of meditation. Pisces, magnanimity, to love. All virtues are an aspect of love and the great work of love is that we can develop and cultivate various of these virtues through our given time on earth. So each month you'll be getting a virtue, a meditative practice and some esoteric um, ways of seeing and considering this great work of love. I'm looking forward to the our interchange between us as we work through the virtues and we take on this work together. through you.